It's my honor to present. And uh, my topic is the development of Chinese maritime transport in context of the 21st century maritime silk route. I'm from East China Normal University in Shanghai. And uh, I, we know that uh, in 2013, the Belt and Road is uh, promoted by the pre President Xi. And uh, we know that uh, the Belt and Road is uh, referred to the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st century Maritime Silk Road. Uh, the Belt Road is aimed to uh, build economic patterns with uh, uh, countries around it. Uh, we know that uh, it's a big topic and many researchers to uh, do the uh, studies. Uh, in this year, we published a, a, a paper about the maritime network uh, from 1997 to 2016. But uh, in this presentation, we focus two questions. One is, uh, what are the main changes since the established of this uh, uh, Italian initiative in Chinese sector of maritime transport. The next question is, will the changes created a new change for sea sustainability? So, uh, because it's a big topic, so we focus on the trend of the, uh, this uh, fact. We found that there are five models of integration about uh, transport. One is the integration of ports. We can say that uh, uh, this is the old uh, coast ports. And uh, in, two uh, in 2015, Ningbo, Zhoushan, and the other five ports in Zhejiang province combined uh, Zhejiang port group. It's a big uh, port group. And, uh, in the, at the same time, Guangxi province promoted the reform of ports integration. We can say that uh, here are some uh, ports, they want to combine into one port uh, uh, group. And uh, in 2017, Nanjing, Lianyungang, Suzhou, and other ports in Jiangsu province combined into Jiangsu Port Group, and uh, also Dalian, Jingzhou, and Yinkou Ports uh, combined into one port group, Liaoning Port Group. So other, we can see uh, Fujian Province and uh, Shandong Province also want to promote uh, uh, different ports combined in one port group. So we can see that uh, there are many ports want to uh, integration in one port group. Uh, as the port management system, we can see that before 1988, all the important ports were managed by the Department of Transport Directory. So they were controlled by the central government. But uh, in, uh, from 1988, to 2001, all the important ports were managed by the central government and the local governments. Port uh, business management mainly controlled by the central government, but uh, the personnel was de decided by local government uh, mainly. Uh, from, 19, uh, from 2001, it's an uh, uh, important year that ports were managed by local government push the reform to separated government administration and uh, enterprise management. But we also can see that after 2002, Shanghai Port invested in the uh, ports along Yangtze River, but it was not uh, uh, successful. After 2015, the ports integration was pushed by the princi principal government and supported by the central government. We know that uh, as the law of ports in 2004, a city only have uh, a port, one port. But now a 
princes have one port group. So we, we can say that uh, many ports in one princess will combine in one port group. And uh, another integration of about uh, port and shipping companies. The port companies and shipping companies build uh, close cooperation through the establishment of capital link and further improve the international competitive in MSR. We can see that uh, from uh, in 2007, CSCO hold 20% share of Qingdao port, and then China Machines Group controlled the Liaoning port group, and in the same year, CSCO hold 15 hold SIPG and become its third largest shareholder. And also in 2017, CLSCO, SIPG, and the Jiangsu Port Group cooperated. And in this year, China Machines Group cooperated with Tianjin Port. So we can say that port companies want to build cooperation with shipping companies. And also we can see the third integration of shipping companies. And there are five central companies in the shipping sector under the central government. There, we can say there are five companies before 2008, but after the uh, crisis in 2008, Eight, CSC and uh, this company combined in one big company. Now we can say that in 2015, this company was uh, uh, corporate with uh, China Machines Group. And in the same year, CSCO and the China Shipping Group combined with CSCO Shipping. So, COSCO Shipping becomes the fourth largest counter shipping company in the world. And uh, we did some uh, research about the two, country, uh, two shipping companies' uh, maritime network. In 2015, we can say that China shipping has a relatively advantage in Mediterranean Sea, Middle East, and uh, Northwest Europe. And uh, in the same year, COSCO has a relatively strong advantage in North America, Australia, and uh, New Zealand. But uh, after the cooperation in 2016, COSCO shipping has the uh, most uh, extensive cover coverage in the Mediterranean and the East Asia. Also, they uh, get uh, very uh, closely in the Europe. So we can say that uh, in the, this uh, year, they want to build more and more important port. They want to uh, build closely, close relationship with China. And uh, another integration of Sin Leo we also can see that uh, COSCO shipping is a very important actor in, in the uh, project. They want to uh, build a sail rail relationship uh, in this year uh, based on Paris. And uh, in January 2017, the first and the second trains carrying uh, Chinese uh, contents launched by uh, COSCO Shipping Group, arrived in Budapest by the port of uh, Paris, Greens, make the opening of the China-Europe Land Sea Express route connecting China with Central and East uh, Europe. And uh, as we know that uh, the model of the evolution of ports, which are right by uh, notable, uh, during the early Regionalization, the uh, railway or highway is very important to get to the hinterland. 
So we can see that uh, during this, uh, uh, this port uh, development, they built a railway, connect uh, uh, this port and uh, some capitals at the end of the Budapest. And uh, another integration of port uh, city, we, uh, uh, we just now said that uh, uh, China Machines Group is a very important actor. So they want to build a model of a port packed city uh, in the following uh, port. Uh, their project is that ahead port, they want to build a port or cruise port. And in the middle part, they want to uh, build an uh, economic uh, or business park to uh, develop the supporting industries, business, and other uh, industries. And it, behind the port, there is a city. They want to uh, develop the living or commercial or other supporting industry. We say that uh, uh, the machine, a China machine group, uh, built some uh, ports around the, this uh, silk load. Uh, during, uh, beside this port, China Machines Group hope to copy Circle, Circle Experience, Circle in Shenzhen. They developed the uh, Circle District very successfully. So they want, want to copy Circle's experience in this port based on port packed city model. Uh, th there are two prime uh, picture. In this picture, it's a new model deep water a port. They want to uh, build a new port in the suburban. The business of all the ports will be liked by the new one. This will not only completely solve the connection between all the ports and the center of the city, but also adopted the trend of large-scale shipping. And in the old port area will be used for urban development, including commercial office, hotel, or other facilities, and so on. It will create a new commercial center in the port. So we can say there are five models of uh, integration uh, behind uh, the project of Silk Road. There is a, a brief conclusions. The Belt and the Road will have a significant impact on the development of uh, Chinese ports. It, in terms of scale and management, there is a gap between domestic and foreign ports. So the Chinese ports have a uh, pressure. Therefore, the integration of ports, integration of uh, shipping uh, companies, integration of uh, shipping will help to improve the ports' competitiveness. And uh, in the foreign countries, the income of the pure invested in port is limited. So the companies also know that it, it was not a sensibility. The integration of sea rail can expand the hinterland. The integration of port and the city will promote the sustainability development of the park and the city behind the port. So we can conclude that the, some uh, main port, ports and uh, the shipping companies want to build uh, the big port. This means that the port extends from the functional of shipping to develop the comprehensive services. And uh, another is uh, big logistics, takes the ports as the center and extends the expansion of the port's regional hinterland by uh, use the railway or highway. And another is a big plant form. Ports is developed first, and then they will build industry park behind the port, and also supporting the development of a new urban areas. 
So we can see that there is a trend of integration uh, about uh, the uh, ports, ports, ports and uh, uh, shipping companies. Shipping companies combined one port, uh, one shipping companies, and also they want to uh, build uh, a port and uh, railway and uh, port, park and uh, uh, cities. That's all. This is my uh, presentation. I need uh, uh, thank you for your presentation. Thank you.